What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click that subscribe button and stick around. My Shein hauls are some of my most popular here on my channel and I've been getting tons of requests for back to school fashion. So that is what I am here giving you guys today. I am about to be a junior fashion merchandising student at Kent State University. So keep in mind my everyday style is a little bit dressier. I like to look polished, presentable for class and I am in a sorority as well. We've got sorority recruitment within the next couple of weeks. So I picked up a lot of dresses, nicer pieces. I know the first few weeks of school are always super exciting, going out, having dinners with your friends, things like that. So I've got quite the array of clothing. I've also been getting lots of questions about what to wear to sorority recruitment. You are in luck. Most of these pieces are perfect for the occasion. And I actually have created three different blog posts, 10 outfits for open house round, 10 outfits for sisterhood round, and 10 outfits for preference round of sorority recruitment. They are all on my blog, stylebymckenz.com and I will leave them linked down below so that you guys can check them out. Highly, highly, highly recommend that post and I will leave direct links to everything in the description bar as well as sizing info and shipping. Without further ado, let's hop right on into this haul and don't forget to use code Q4McKenz15 for 15% off your entire Shein purchase. All right, y'all, we're gonna start off with rompers first. I've got tons of rompers and dresses for you guys today just because I think that they're perfect for back to school season. They give you the mobility of shorts, but you still get the dressiness of a dress so this is perfect for that sisterhood round of sorority recruitment where you're not super dressy yet but you do want a step up from you know a skirt and a t-shirt so this romper is one of my favorite pieces I think I've ever gotten from Shein this was incredibly flattering this is just a black little satin romper it's got the most amazing cowl neckline which you guys know I love it's a very classic silhouette very timeless and really easy to dress up with gold jewels we've got shorts along the back and this also crisscrosses a few times very elegant piece I think that you can dress this up or down you could easily wear this out to the bar this next white romper is absolutely adorable this is kind of like the perfect example of something I would wear on a day full of fashion classes obviously I am a fashion merch major and most people do dress up a little bit for class I love this because you can really dress it down with a pair of sandals and just simple earrings but you could also dress this up with bold heels and a bright pink lip um, for recruitment or a sorority event formal anything like that this is like a white linen material it's double lined so it's not see-through at all it's actually shorts underneath but it has this overlay of material over top that kind of makes it look like a dress and as you can tell we've got that beautiful stitching along the cups for that bustier style that is incredibly popular right now okay next up on the rompers I've got this cutie I love this this reminds me of something that you would get at free people it's got a really unique color palette that kind of screams fall perfect for that summer to fall transition it's got longer sleeves but these are super sheer so kind of gives you a little bit of coverage but not a ton it's got a deeper V which you guys know I love and then as you can tell it is shorts These ones are a little bit flowier and they are double lined So you don't have to worry about anything being see-through here The back has a cute little tie along the neckline and then it's a pretty much an open back I do wear a sticky bra when I wear a majority of these pieces. It's $17 from Target I've had this specific style for many years. I've gotten several new ones, but I love it I wear it all the time I will leave it linked down below as well so that you guys can check it out, but seriously I love this print. I think that this is super easy to dress up and down as well. Like I said, sisterhood round of recruitment is the perfect time to pull out a jumpsuit. Anything with pant legs, you look super sophisticated, you look polished, and yet if you are someone who gets cold, you've got a little extra coverage as well. These pant legs actually flare out just a little bit and they've got a cute little slit along the side so you can show off a really fun pair of shoes. I've got so many good shoes for today's haul, so make sure you stick around to the end so you guys can see those. This has a really classic neckline and does lace up a bunch throughout the back. I love this color too. It's very complimentary of that summer tan. This lilac romper is absolutely adorable, but it's really hard for me to show holding up for you guys. So just have to wait till the try on. This has got shorts that are super, super flowy. Again, we've got kind of the look of a dress, but there is pant legs. So don't worry. And then the top just looks like this. It's got sleeves that bishop out a ton and it laces up super cute along the back. This actually reminds me a lot of the piece that I wore for sisterhood round of recruitment. My freshman year I will try to insert a picture of that romper here just the perfect amount of dressiness you can wear this with sandals or you could go the heel route if you want a little extra height I love this I know that that ring style along the center of the chest 
with the two little cutouts along the side is going to be super popular this season. I've already picked up a few dresses with this style and I just think that it's so unique. You're definitely going to be eye catching in this piece. Okay, moving on to dresses. I've got tons of them. Dresses are like my favorite thing to wear, not only on an everyday basis, but obviously for recruitment, you are going to need a ton, whether you are on the recruiting side or you are a new member going through. Um, this dress is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I actually have a wedding in August that I think I might wear this to. This is a pleated dress with tiered ruffles and it's got a deeper V, which I love. It's nothing too crazy. In fact, if you layered a bralette underneath, I think that could be a really fun way to kind of dress this piece up. The sleeves just look like this. As you can tell, they are pleated as well, but they do have a little bit of a flare to it that is just so unique. There's a little button closure along the back. And I don't know, I just feel like this is such an elegant piece. It's got a really unique floral pattern to it, as you can tell. And the colors are just incredible for this late summer transition time. This champagne dress is another favorite of mine. I love this. It is a super thick material, so the quality is great on this. I wore it like this for the cowl neckline, but you can also tie this around your neck like this, so you have a little crisscross action, something a little more halter style. I know both are super popular right now, so kind of whatever floats your boat. I really like pieces that you can wear more than one way because it feels like you're getting the most bang for your buck, which is obviously essential. This is double lined as well, and it's just a really like comfortable material. It kind of hangs in a very unique shift style on you. I think that this would be adorable belted with a gold chain belt as well if you did want to give this dress some more shape because like I said, it is rather shapeless. I believe this comes in a few different colors and I'll definitely be picking it up in more. This is also perfect if you have a 21st birthday, a bar crawl, anything like that coming up. This pink floral dress I feel like would be the perfect piece for the first day of school. It doesn't look like you're trying too hard, but it's still very cute at the same time. Just got a very simple silhouette. As you can tell, we've got that little ruffle along the bottom that you guys know I love. And then the top just looks like this. We've got a ruched bodice going on. Very simple. You don't have to wear a bra with this. It is double lines. And I feel like this material and the pattern combination together make it so that, you know, you have nothing showing through anything like that. And then these are actually some of my favorite straps. I love things that self tie because you can really cater towards your chest size in specific. I know a lot of people are maybe an extra small in the bust, but not an extra small in the shoulders. This is a really easy way to kind of adjust that to whatever your specific size is. Love this. Probably will be wearing this the first week of school with a pair of sandals and cute earrings. Next up, I grabbed this tulle dress and I love this. This is double lined as well. As you can tell, there is a white layer of fabric underneath and then this material on top is just a nude mesh. This is perfect for senior photos. I've also been getting tons of comments from you guys asking what to wear for senior photos. This is perfect. The sleeves are really cool. They've got like different sections that are separated by this elastic, which I love. They do flare out just a little bit and I don't know. I feel like this is a really timeless piece. These are really easy to dress up and down as well. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I do appreciate a piece that you can kind of transition from like wedding guest attire to every day for class. Obviously, I wouldn't be wearing this to class, but all right, next up, I've got a bunch of midi and maxi dresses. I absolutely love this. My mom is like, what the heck is that? But I love the blue and white leopard. I think it's really different. I don't have anything like this in my closet. And after being stuck in black and white joggers literally for months on end during quarantine, I'm so glad that so many prints and fun colors are making a statement this season. So this is really cool. Midi and maxis are perfect for sorority recruitment because modest is hottest and you can't go wrong with this. This is actually one of those necklines that has like those like cinched cups that move along this line. These ones actually have a decent amount of coverage and this ties around your neck and then once across the back. I definitely recommend checking to see if Panhel at your school has released any kind of guidelines, dress code, anything like that. At Kent, you can wear anything. Like, you don't need to have your shoulders covered. Like, thin straps don't matter. But at some schools, they do. I'm not really sure why because, you know, it's 2021. Let's get with the program. But I love this piece. I think it's so fun. I also grabbed this maxi dress, and I love this. This is like a pale green floral. And it just reminds me of frolicking in a field with my best friends. Like, if I were to have a picnic party for photos, this is definitely what I would wear. I love this. It's got thin, adjustable straps. Just that straight-across neck 
neckline. No boobs on display here. As you can tell, it's got tiered ruffles, and I just feel like this dress is perfect for your average summer day. I know that I said back to school, but a lot of these pieces I will be wearing throughout the end of summer as well. Very cute. And a polyester material. A lot of these dresses are a polyester blend. Here is another maxi that I absolutely love. This is a white, and it's like a black floral. There are a few different colors mixed into it that have more of a fall color palette. Again, I have that wedding in August, and we have a few different events that weekend. I think that this might be just the right piece. I know that it's white, but there is floral in it, so for a rehearsal dinner or just dinner with the family, I feel like this could be perfect. It's got these puffed sleeves that I love, and as you can tell, we've got a sweet, sweetheart neckline across the front, which is one of my favorite details. And then this has a really large slit. I love a slit in my dresses. It makes it so much easier to walk in, and it really does help elongate those legs with a tall heel. You can really just give yourself that sexy finish that every girl loves. Next up, I grabbed this little midi slip dress. This is a full-on maxi, no slit in this one. I don't like the cut of this as much as some of the other dresses. It feels a little cheaper. It's got like just a straight V. As you can tell under the armpits, it is a little bit wider, so not my favorite fit. However, I do think that there are definitely ways to salvage this dress. I think with a little like Baker Boy black cap and black sneakers, that could be a really fun way to make this streetwear. Or I think you could belt it with a gold chain belt and add some strappy heels to this to kind of dress it up. I just think that it needs a little something to spice it up. So I actually am already in a sorority at my school. I am an Alpha Phi at Kent State, and so I will be recruiting girls, new members, and trying to find people that fit our ideals and things like that. We do have our own dress code for each day and I picked this up for one of the days of recruitment and I think it's perfect. This is an ivory maxi dress and it has a cinched side like this. It gathers the material in a really beautiful way. I know sometimes gathered material can be really really unflattering. I felt like this really accentuated my curves which with little ones I do have and this slit really did elongate the legs. I absolutely love the cut of this. It's very cool and then the top just looks like this. The top is a little wide around the armpits as well but I I think that this is going to work perfect once I style it with some jewelry and some heels. It does have adjustable straps along the back, which you guys know I love. And I'm realizing now I never mentioned sizing. I am wearing an extra small or small in every single piece. Whatever the smallest size available is, is what I'm wearing. I'm a 25 inch waist and a 34B in the chest. I'll leave all that info down below as well. And then last up for the maxis, I grabbed this pink dress. This is like a linen, cottony material, very breathable. This is honestly perfect for a beach vacay with a pair of sandals when you're like really toasty, sunburnt after the day. I think that this would be perfect. It's got those tie side straps that you guys know I am obsessed with. And we've got a smocked bodice, which is the best. Anything smocked, you can forego a bra with, which is key for me. And this one just has a little slit along the bottom. Just adorable, and I love this bright pink. Okay, and then last up on the dresses, I I grabbed two pink and white polka dot ones and these are actually the exact same style. I love this style. This is one of my favorite cuts ever. I would wear this style every day if I could because they are perfect with sandals for everyday wear but you can also throw heels on with them and they are like really easily dressed up. They kind of work for every occasion. We've got these sweet little puff sleeves and we've got a dainty little sweetheart neckline. And then the back has more of this square neckline. I love that. It's very flattering on me and then this is actually double lined as you can tell we've got that white lining underneath as well just very flattering super adorable and like I said I did go ahead and grab it in two colors so that was the white and the hot pink and then right here I've got the light pink and the white this one is probably my favorite of the two just because I don't know I've been on a major pink kick lately I'm not really one to wear a lot of pink in years past but something about this I love it's got sweet little polka dots and a couple of bows throughout it which is like not usually my typical pattern but this feels youthful in a good way you could also wear this with sneakers too just around all right moving on to skirts I'm not usually a skirt girl and every pack with me for vacation that I film you guys say Mackenzie just wear it with a skirt wear it with a skirt what kind of skirts do you have I don't really wear skirts so I wanted to pick some up and just kind of experiment with them. There are obviously so many different ways that you can style these and a skirt is perfect for open house round of recruitment. I know a lot of you guys are going to be given a basic t-shirt that says like Sor Kent State Sorority Recruitment or a Panhel 2021 on it. Skirts are like the best way to dress those pieces up and really stand out. So the first one that I grabbed is this teal one right here. I love this. It's got an elastic waist so it's very very flattering and it's got this cinched detail along it that 
that is so crazy flattering this makes you look curvy in the best way and it does have a little slit so that this is super easy to walk in you can either wear the ruched material in the front or you can wear it on the side whichever you prefer I absolutely love this color it screams aquamarine to me I typically don't have a lot of luck with Shein bottoms because my waist is pretty small. I'm a 25 inch waist, like I said, and most pieces that are not elastic are just this like typical band. They've got a zipper closure in the back and they're too big, but these two skirts that I'm about to show you fit me beautifully, like seriously, like a glove. I love this. And this is again, that same kind of like ruched material throughout the back. That is so flattering. These make you look curvy, but in a good way. And this has a cute little peplum along the bottom that I just think it's so fun. You could easily wear this with just a white tank top and white sandals and look really polished. I know this comes in a few different colorways, but I love this like teal and blue. Next up, I grabbed this little satin skirt, and I think this is one of the most flattering Shein pieces I've ever put on me. I think part of it is this color. It is so complimentary of my summer tan, and I don't know. It was just so flattering. I love that little cinch detail along the side. You can obviously shorten this skirt to whatever length you want. So if you're on the taller side, pieces like this are going to be your best friend. You can uncinch the material a little bit and it won't be too short on you. Or if you're petite like me, I'm only 5'2", 5'3", you can kind of, you know, shorten this up a little bit and make it that perfect length for you. I also really like that ruffle along the back. It covers your tush beautifully. And just like I said, this color was fantastic. I'm wearing an extra small. All right, next up, I've got this blue and white floral maxi. This one was a little big in the waist, but I think that if I just take it in with a pin and just like about half an inch, I will be good to go. This will fit me perfect. I love the tiered ruffles on this that cascade down it. And as you can tell, we've got a super high leg slit along the side. Again, one of my favorite details to just really elongate your body. Love, love, love this color palette. And again, you could wear this with a basic white top and sandals, or you could dress it up with a pair of heels. I have been on the hunt for a good pair of white denim shorts for literally years now, and I have yet to find a pair to replace my beloved Express ones. And I actually was very pleasantly surprised by these. These are a true denim material, and they are the perfect length. I love them because they don't show my butt cheeks, but they're not super long either. I know the boyfriend Bermuda style is very popular right now, but it's not super flattering on me because I am on the shorter side. So I love these. They've got just the right amount of rips. I don't like something that's super, super distressed. And I got these in an extra small and they fit me surprisingly well. They're about half an inch bigger than I probably would have picked out myself. But with just a couple of trips in the washer and dryer, I think that these will be perfect. So truth be told, I'm definitely more of a dress and romper girl. And to be honest, it's solely out of laziness because why would I want to wake up five minutes earlier in the morning to try and pair a top and jeans together that look good when I could just throw on a dress and be done with it? Anyways, I did go ahead and pick up a few tops for you guys. This one I absolutely love. This is just a bright coral, as you can tell, and it's one shoulder. I'm not usually a big fan of one shoulders, but this one is super flattering on. You could definitely dress this up for going out or you could wear this to class with just a pair of jeans and sandals this one's got this like extra material that's gathered along the front of it and it's in such a flattering like position i don't even know how to describe it but this is like a mesh tool over top that is adorable next top i picked up kind of looks like a paper bag but in the best way possible i have been seeing this style top everywhere on Zara right now and I had to grab it like I had to have it it's so fun it's definitely the kind of top that you wear with jeans not shorts I have it on with shorts in the try on but I know for a fact with like white cropped flare jeans and a pair of black heels this will be perfect when I think of a first date outfit I think of this piece I love this and again if this comes in more colors this would be one that I would pick up in more all right and then last but not least on the clothing items I grabbed this little green top I love the material of this I'm not really sure what it is but it's super soft like similar to that coral top it's like this cool material it like comes out just a little bit textured and I love this neckline anything that has a high neck I absolutely love I have broader shoulders so I feel like this style is very flattering on me and then this just ties along the back it's also the perfect amount of crop it's not super short but it still shows just enough stomach to let people know that you still got that summer tan going on okay moving on I got so many shoes and I got so many good pairs like I really hit the jackpot so first up I got these pink little slides I love these this heel height is perfect for me I don't really do much walking to class anymore just because I am living off campus so I do drive and these are perfect 
quick. I can walk around in these. I can go to multiple classes in the same building, but it's not like I'm trekking across campus. So if I did want to wear a dress, this would be like the kind of shoe that I go for. These have like that, what is this material called? Like what is this style called? I have a couple of pairs of shoes like this now and I love them. This bubblegum pink is adorable. The perfect in-between transition shoe. Like I said, I really love that style. So I did go ahead and grab a flat pair. These are just in white. I love white shoes. If you know me, you know I wear white with pretty much everything. And I actually have this specific style shoe in nude and I wear them all the time. They're very comfortable. So I decided to pick these up. Again, I said a lot of these outfits would look great with flat sandals. Something like this is going to be your best friend. Okay, so Danielle Carolyn has been wearing all kinds of lime green and she does it so well and she inspired me to pick these up. So these again remind me of something that you'd get at Zara. They've got that square toe that is so popular right now as we see the 90s and early 2000s revival. Um, and then these have the coolest heel to them. Look at it. It's like a triangle. It's like a flat square from the back and then when you turn it to the side it's got this like geometric shape to it that is so fun. These are a little bit taller than your average heel but I don't know. Something about me just loves these. I will definitely be bringing these to New York Fashion Week and BAM! Stomp on all those haters. So I have a lot of shoes. Like I mean a lot. This whole wall of shoes. My closet is stuffed. I actually just redid my closet. I'll insert a picture of it here and maybe that will help you understand just how much of a shoe problem I have. Um, and I get questions all the time about the most random shoes like everyone's favorite pairs are always from Shein I have a pair of boots with this exact heel it's like shapes stacked on top of each other and I get questions about them all the time they are years old but I decided when I saw this style that I needed to have them they've got a bunch of cool like nude straps along the front and they lace up I love anything that laces up it really really elongates the legs and it makes you just look so good good is the only word to describe it so although these are striped and a little different i thought that these could be a really fun way to dress up one of those nude champagne dresses okay so juju havens one of my favorite youtubers instagrammers bloggers whatever she went on this long trip to europe and she wore so many shoes this style and i was influenced very heavily i had to grab a pair these are just so sexy guys i'm gonna try them on for you because i don't think that holding it up really does it justice i don't think you guys understand the power that these shoes hold they are like lace-up heels but on crack i mean they literally like there's wiring in this so that it stays around your foot and they're fabulous i mean fabulous Whew, that was a long long haul i hope you guys enjoyed like i said i will leave links to everything down below so that you guys can shop and make sure to check out my instagram style by mckenz and my website stylebymckenz.com because everything that you see in today's haul will be styled on those two platforms in the coming weeks i love you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to use code q4mckenz15 for 15 percent off and i'll talk to you in my next video peace out girl scouts